Coco Housing Complex. Housing Authority officials say the cameras are part of an effort to protect residents there, and police will have access to them. Channel 9's Melanie Holt live in Coco tonight. Mal, police hope this will be one of many crime-fighting tools for the city. Police say that cameras like these being installed right now by the Housing Authority are a deterrent, but if a crime happens, they can be helpful too. Most smart people will say, if I'm going to commit a crime, I'm certainly not going to go where the cameras are. And around the Cocoa Housing Authority, the cameras are going up, about 45 of them near the agency's 300-plus apartment community, including some near Monique Jones's unit. So at the end of the day, I think it's just a great thing for us to come together and just make sure we're okay. The cameras are being paid for through a $250,000 HUD grant and should be online with a video feed accessible to police via the Internet by next month. Anytime you have that kind of um, ability, that kind of technology in place, that is certainly the time. And Cocoa Police have partnered with other neighborhoods like Broadmoor Acres. That community sought out donations to set up its own security cameras. And right now, the Cocoa Police Department is encouraging residents and business owners who already have surveillance systems to register them with the city as part of its community camera registration program. So we're not going to share the information with anyone. We're not going to tap into your camera. But if something happens in that general location, our detectives door to door asking if you have camera, um, they'll be able to look at that database and save some time. And Cocoa Police say the more partnerships they have like these, the better. Now, since we've been out here, a number of residents have said they don't see the need for these cameras, but it's not the only security measure being taken out here. A number of porch lights are still being installed at units around this area as well. Live here in Cocoa, Melanie Holt, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.